makes him so dangerous out there. So a big win for Josh Shields, number five ranked wrestler in the country. And he takes a Pac-12 title for the second consecutive year at 157. Over in the third place match, it's Paul Fox of Stanford against Coleman Hammond of CSU Bakersfield. Paul Fox finished third last year at Pac-12 at 157, trying to do it again. And remember, the winner of this one goes to the NCAA tournament. And they have one more period left in that one. And Fox leading Hammond 4-2. to two. Fox did not want to go underneath Hammond. Hammond is funky on top. Hammond's got to press the pace, and he is. Fox got some pretty good shots himself. You see he gets in a head inside single. Number one takedown wrestling, head inside single backside. Let's see if he can get to that far ankle, and he does. And he just gets that too. So Hammond picks neutral. It's taken down pretty easily by Fox's sweep single leg. So six to two for Fox, and again, it's the third pay place bout here at 157, but an NCAA tournament berth is on the line. Paul Fox, a redshirt junior. Coleman Hammond, a redshirt senior. So NCAA allocates three per for this weight class. Is that right, Rich? We have That's three, right. three qualifiers in the Pac-12. So this is all money on the line here. Fox has got to win this match to get his bid to NCAAs. So I was talking about meeting Willits at this uh, at this get together between sessions. It was a lot about the promotion of the sport. Oregon has a couple of interesting things going on. One, they've added women's wrestling at the high school. A big big push here for women's wrestling in Oregon in recent years. They keep growing the numbers, and now next year at the state tournament, there's going to be official state championship for women's wrestling. They just start. I believe they had one this year. Uh, was, was this the first or start next year? But either way, it's going to be getting rolling. They've got over 200 women in high schools wrestling here in the state of Oregon. And the other thing is they're working. They've added many new programs. A lot of smaller colleges are starting wrestling. They have seven small colleges with wrestling here in Oregon. There's a big effort to save college wrestling in Oregon. If you Google save college wrestling in Oregon, there's an organization that's here fighting to get more programs started. Now, ideally, they'd like to see duck wrestling come back. But for now, they're working adamantly and successfully to get small colleges going and with many men and women's programs. Oregon Ducks had a good wrestling program, won the Pac-12 title once in the 70s, twice in the 80s. Yeah, they had a great program. And Ron Finley uh, passed away this past year. He was the head coach. He's an Oregon State grad, legend in Oregon State, and a Greco-Roman Olympian. And he was coached Oregon. And uh, sadly, they let that program go. And they're hoping to bring it back and working to bring it back. One of the great duck wrestlers is Kale Sonnen. He's a UFC legend, killing it in the UFC. Now he's broadcaster and analyst for, you know, many of the mixed martial arts shows. All right, we got 38 seconds left in this one. NCAA tournament berth on the line. Coleman Hammond, what's he got to do here, Anthony, against Paul Fox? Uh, Hammond's got to go big now. He's, he's down by three. Fox is wrestling smart. He's going to stay near the edge and put his mat there, just drain out the clock. So if I'm Hammond, i got to take advantage right here, get a fresh start, go for my big move. What's my throw here? Right now I'm just wasting the time. And Fox was smart there, just dive in, get a hold of them legs. He's like, I'm not going to let this guy throw me. I'm going to get his legs. Both these guys went to the NCAA tournament last year. Fox at 157, Hammond at 149, and it's Fox who's going to go back to the NCAAs in Cleveland coming up in three weeks at Quicken Loans Arena. And so it's Paul Fox who gets that third NCAA tournament berth at 157 over Coleman Hammond of CSU Bakersfield. Intermission coming up. We'll talk with Scott Barnes, the athletic.